Hello, everyone. From this section, we'll start to learn new membrane separation technologies: ultrafiltration (UF) and microfiltration (MF). First, let's look at the separation theory of UF and MF processes. As mentioned before, the pore size of MF membrane is larger than 0.1 micrometer, and that of UF membrane ranges from 2 nanometer to 0.1 micrometer. So, when raw water with impurities is filtered, ions are able to penetrate these membranes. Thus, it's possible to work under low pressure without osmotic pressure. The separation mechanisms involve two aspects. Impurities are absorbed on the membrane surface or in microholes, or they are mechanically rejected on the membrane surface due to screening function. In practice, the mechanical screening by membrane surface is a major mechanism for MF and UF. UF membranes mainly separate colloids and some biological macromolecules. While MF membranes are able to separate granular materials like suspended solids and bacteria, many materials can be used as UF and MF membranes. Majorly contains organic membrane and inorganic membrane. Commonly used organic membrane materials include polysulfone (PVDF), polyethylene, polypropylene (PTFE), and so on. Inorganic membrane materials include metals, metal oxides, and ceramics. Both of the UF and MF membranes have porous structure from micro perspective. Pore size distribution is an important technical indicator to assess the separation ability of them. For UF membrane, it is usually quantified by molecular weight cutoff, MWCO for short. It's measured through experiments. A series of compounds with similar chemical structures but different molecular weights, like polyethylene glycol, are filtered, and the rejection rates are recorded to plot a curve of molecular weight cutoff. At the rejection rate of 90%, the minimum relative molecular weight is the MWCO of the tested membrane. Look at this group of curves. They are showing the MWCO of several UF membranes. The x-axis is molecular weight, and the y-axis is the average rejection rate for compounds of various molecular weights. Each curve tells the MWCO of that membrane. For example, look at the first curve. At the rejection rate of 90%. The corresponding molecular weight is 1,000. Thus, the MWCO of this kind of UF membrane is 1,000. Similarly, for the second curve, at the rejection rate of 90%, the corresponding molecular weight is about 10,000. So the MWCO is 10,000. For MF membranes. Curve of pore size distribution is often used. From the curve, we can pick out the pore diameter at the peak. It is called the nominal pore diameter. This is a curve of pore size distribution of a kind of MF membrane. The corresponding pore diameter at peak can be obtained, and it's the nominal pore diameter of this membrane. Now let's look at some configurations of membrane module. UF and MF membrane modules have several types. First, the flat sheet module with frame. Besides, there are also tubular and hollow fiber membrane modules. Okay, that's all about the separation theory and features of UF and MF. In the next section, I'll introduce the design of such two processes.